Hello fellow engineers, welcome to another episode of this survival on Triton. And uh, yeah, sorry for the audio quality, but the comm device to Earth is not working properly. At least it's more space themed, so to speak. So, uh, with my welder I'm indicating the wall that I have to bring down and make more space. There we will place our rover, but we will left uh, additional space, you know, for eventual other vehicles. Never know. And in addition to that, on yeah, from there, I will continue building some uh, living space, or I don't know, another control room maybe. Uh, also, we have to take into account that the first, um, yeah, there is gonna be the control room, I think, but the first block has to be floor because it has to be in level with the loading platform. That's another of the purposes of this work. It has to be high enough, so I'm counting the blocks that have to be carved. Should be enough. So let's switch the robotic arm head. Let's deploy the grinder. This should help um, doing this job a little faster than I would manually. Head switched. Let's bring it down. The way I switch heads is based on the great script uh, MarmoS. It has a function where you can um, store the position into a series of coordinates. So I memorize those positions in order to put the heads uh, over there faster than I would do it manually. So, apart from bringing down that part, I have to bring in the vehicle. I regret I told you, but uh, poorly the miner. I told in a previous episode that I would uh, uh, get rid of it because it's ugly, but it's still useful. And it's here outside. Ooh. Okay. It's here outside in cold, maybe being damaged, if that would be a thing in here. Anyways, let's open the gate and bring it in. Um, let me show how it works. Let's speed the process up a little bit. Uh, you know, you have to be delicate with this thing, especially because it has a lot of subgrids, as you can see. So it's really easy to do damage with that. So basically, um, the merge block that I have to move, the one I placed on the ground, and that connector help me to, you know, move the stuff I mine. Uh, to the refineries and uh, keep the vehicle lighter. Doesn't have any container, just uh, the necessary things to carve the wall. And in theory, it should carve very straight and make regular holes, not rounded but squared. It is uh, partially, I mean, it uses some scripts as well as timers. It wasn't perfect at the time I used that to carve this whole base, so when I use that on a daily basis for hours, but it helped me uh, automate a little bit the process, so I could leave this thing run for a while, carve a big chunk of this cave, and then move it onto another connector in order to keep doing this. 
But since it was a long time I wasn't using it, I forgot how to use it properly, as you can see. <laughs> and I also removed certain parts where the arm was destroyed. Another when I left it running without even moving. So, yeah, it took me some time to get used to it again. But at least, as you can see, it's carving pretty straight holes. And it should be enough for my uh, rover garage. So, to go a little bit more in detail about this um, mm, miner. Uh, it works with the script that helps you move it uh, a certain amount of, of, of uh, meters. So I can tell it like to extend 2.5 meters at a time. And then with the timer I just let it uh, go. Or with, with the sensor also when it extends to its maximum it activates a timer that brings the arm back and as you will notice or might have noticed already the arm can retract at a higher speed so it's pretty useful um, I might link uh, the script into the comments of this video in case you are interested in and yeah let's move this rover because I have to move the miner on the other side okay so let's get out of this rover and let's continue carving this giant hole and yeah let's speed up a little bit the process because uh, this episode per se is not very exciting I'm just carving this and you know making space for the actual base so let's avoid the very boring part of looking at this thing carving forever but I like this speed up uh, quite a lot it's somehow satisfying um, also as you might notice this design has a flow the central part cannot be carved so I have to create other connection points in order to be able to carve everything and not leaving any empty space <sighs> okay I'm sorry I took a little bit of air here outside so to speak because I'm using the suit anyways but uh, it's really stressing out being there all the time just doing one thing the whole week so let's Stay here outside for a few more seconds and think about the existence, the eternity, and all this crazy stuff. Ah, Alright, time to go back carving again. Oh boy, I wish those things would take much less, but that's the way it is. Anyways, we have carved already quite enough I think let's continue well let's make good use of time while the miner is carving let's start placing blocks or let's continue placing blocks because I already started mm, basically this is just to seal the space it's not gonna be a square um, this um, garage it's gonna be something more cool looking when I finish sealing it I will add some detailing over it we will see how we will see what but rest assured it's not gonna look like it's looking right now okay so this this part of, uh, of the job is not fun because it takes a lot of time I mean it's it's a great huge base and um, hopefully it's gonna be worth it but the process is not fun rest assured and uh, maybe 
there would be a way to make these things faster like that miner if I design a better one it might have taken less time but to design a better miner it takes time <laughs> so it's that kind of balance I would say also I wasn't expecting to do the things I'm doing right now but anyways here I'm adding another chunk of space I'm carving out a bit more of this and that's the result yeah I speed it up the process <laughs> a bit and as you can see it's almost twice as high so I have now to cover everything with armor blocks and finally start designing things thanks to the welding arm it take less but still I'm not 100% satisfied there should be a way to make this process faster I don't know maybe building some giant arm with uh, a dozen welders would help anyways here I'm welding the last bits by hand oh yeah I forgot one thing the roof isn't done let's use the welding ship even the ship is affected by a script in this case is the easiest inventory manager if you add the keyword special onto any um, block that is a container like the welders as well and the medium container you can specify what to put inside so I specify um, Oh man, I forgot the name. Armor plates and just refill automatically. That helped finishing the process. As you can see, it's everything sealed. I can remove my helmet. And uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. So, bye bye. Space is so spacey, I can fly, fly, fly like a bee in space, or on a moon that is freezing, yeah, yeah.